sponsored by our Royal Beef. <laughs> I wish it was. Um, but I just noticed the other day, I was just mentioned it, and um, I know when I came to try and find out, I had some stuff, um, but in getting equipment and, and drills and sanders and this kind of stuff for doing the 101, I spent ages rumbling around getting um, advice and reviews and all this kind of stuff. Um, there might just be better stuff or a slightly better price than Ryobi, but if you got it and you have what I got, you'll be pleased, you'll get the stuff done, you won't run into any particular problems at the end of the day. That's all that really matters. So I, I mentioned about the Ryobi tools that um, I've bought over the years and um, I've seen lots of uh, lots of reviews and stuff about various different ones so I thought rather than doing that again I just whiz through about just some of the little things I found about them and um, hopefully a, a, a few helpful comments. <laughs> Of all the Ryobi stuff I've I've had, this is the thing that I probably use the most. Um, it's really bright. Hopefully, it's not blinding the camera by doing it sideways. Uh, and you can have uh, one or other or both. Uh, it'll it'll hang from the top. It'll open up. It'll hang from the end. It'll hang from here. Um, it's pretty robust. I've had it lent against a few things here, there and everywhere and it seems to do fine. Um, and if you hang on to your finger, it turns the whole thing off. Highly recommend it. I've only got uh, 4 amp hour batteries, um, but it means that the thing runs for quite a long time without having to worry about charge. I'll come back to the batteries in a bit. So that's the first thing. That's one of the first ones I ever bought and um, partly just because it was given a decent review. Um, variable control, you can change it from uh, full speed to half speed and it'll do hammer, uh, acts as a screwdriver and obviously the drilling with a torque changer to help you stop uh, overdoing it and uh, a handheld uh, chuck. I've used it so much that I've actually this is the second chuck that I've got because it, it worn out it wore out here. Um, they're not very good at grabbing very small drill bits. So um, I've actually ordered a locking uh, chuck that I'm hoping will fit on this. Um, but yeah, really sort of ubiquitous, useful. Um, uh, the uh, screwdriver attachment always falls off, so I, I, I take them out and leave them in the drawer. Next one is this one. Two things about it. It has uh, a light, which is really helpful, and also its dimensions are that it's really good uh, for awkward areas. It's only got forward and backwards, and the speed is fully dependent on to how much you pull the trigger. Um, but yeah, used it loads, um, no real problems with it. And the chuck on this one um, comes to a much finer point and will take the very fine um, uh, drill bits uh, if you want it to. Jigsaw, uh, things about it. I wear a visor a lot with um, doing woodwork and stuff, so I often take the cover off the front to avoid, uh, well, to be able to see better. The laser marker that it's got, I've always found it a bit naff, to be honest. It, uh, it, it doesn't quite line up with the saw, uh, and that's why I tend to do a lot more by uh, online. I'm not trying to drill myself, by the way. Um, but yeah, it works really well, pretty powerful. Um, I tend to use the um, metal saw bits to go through uh, plasterboard type stuff because it doesn't uh, it's not quite so aggressive on the panels. Um, Multi-tool, 
yeah, just use it a lot. Um, I'm not quite sure why the pins, uh, well, that, I'm about to fulfill my, my next statement, but the pins are lined up in that direction, although obviously all the blades go in there. So to me, it's an inherent weakness. Um, these are not the most expensive blades and you can see what they do. They snap off. I do use it quite heavy handedly though. Um, and that's its biggest downside is that it does have a bit of a habit of breaking, um, breaking blades, but otherwise super useful, super useful. Um, and again, obviously that's the whole point of the system is that it takes the same batteries. Mini sander. Um, I've had two of these because one, the first one I bought, this switch, it wouldn't turn it on. It'd push and pull and push and pull. And I had it just on the side uh, and the guy who sold it to me sent me another one. Uh, and uh, I kept it just for spare parts. And about, I don't know, about 18 months or, or a year later, I, I picked it up and started using it. And I didn't realize that it was the bust one uh, but it, it, it suddenly started working. Now both of them intermittently won't turn on and when one's not working the other one tends to be working so hey ho. But that's about the one quibble I have with all the Ryobi stuff I've got. Uh, impact driver. I've used it to take the wheels on and off the 101 and also do some stubborn stuff. It's pretty good. It's got variable speeds. There is one without a variable speeds which I decided against. Um, but it's nice and powerful, works pretty well. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. Nothing particular to tell you about that. I would only get um, good quality blades with this. Um, I've tried a few different cheaper ones and they just either blunt really quickly or, um, uh, or break like I showed you. So only go for good quality blades. That's what I've used to put all the tongue and groove um, sealing uh, in and also to fix the plywood on the floor before I put the um, lino sort of uh, tiles. Um, really easy to load. Um, you can see the yellow marking here disappears because as it comes into play, it means you're running out. It never goes right down to zero. It's usually got three or four left. When it, when it gets to the end, it just won't fire. Uh, just for a second, I will put the battery in, but on the thing here, when you grip the handle, lights come on, which really in an awkward position can be really quite helpful. There's also facility to do single or multiple which means that you either put it down fire and it won't fire again till you take your finger off and back on again and on the multiple it will fire each time you put it down there's an ability to change the amount of power it produces and also to change how much it puts uh, the nail into the wood whether it be you crank it one way and it brings it more towards the surface and vice versa really good absolutely um, spot on. Um, don't have any problems with that. And there's a spare end that comes with it. Grinder, use it a lot. It's pretty easy to just swap this out um, for a cutting blade or this. Um, you'll notice that there's two holes there for the additional handle. I found it so much of a faff because I keep on taking it off to hold them in different directions depending on what I was doing that actually I took it out one day uh, and, and didn't put it back in and, and that was months ago I haven't bothered putting it back in that works pretty hard uh, I also have a wire brush that goes in here but I actually took this off I always wear um, face protection and heavy duty gloves and so on um, so it's it's not really a big issue um, but this definitely eats batteries pretty quickly. It takes a lot of juice to run it. Um, so if you're gonna do it, make sure that you've got 
plenty of batteries charged and ready to go. Circular saw, I've not used it much to be honest. Um, I used to use my dad when I was younger for doing things and it doesn't seem any better or worse than that. There's quite a bit of adjustability in terms of the depth that will go in uh, and it's camber so yeah, it is what it is. I don't think there's anything good or bad about it. Pretty easy to swap the blades out. You can stick a hoover on the end if you want to, etc. Jigsaw with the battery in. Um, it's it's a really nice, easy thing to handle. Uh, there are some poles that come in here with a side piece to put it up against the edge of something to route something down. But uh, yeah, uh, works really well. Lots of easy adjustments to it. Not had any problems with it at all. Uh, lots of things fit it really easily. I actually bought that second hand uh, hand hoover. It's to go in the 101 uh, when we're away, but I've just used it a bit recently. It was second hand, so when we come to finish doing the job and I'm taking it away, I'll get a new filter for it. Um, it just uh, pulls it up into this chamber and obviously there's a filter to stop the stuff going into the motor. Um, but um, yeah, pretty good, works pretty well. Uh, but uh, as I say, I'm not using it for what I bought it for just yet. Last thing to say is the batteries. Well, I think that having looked at it quite a lot at the beginning, the four amp power, um, these are lithium plus, and you can actually go up to ones that are much more expensive that last a bit longer. But the four hour, the four amp hour lithium plus seemed to me to be about a good compromise between not too expensive versus uh, actually holds a reasonable amount of charge and lets you work a, a reasonable amount. Um, I started off with one, obviously, two, I moved up to two and that wasn't quite enough. So in the end, I actually got a third one and the charger on the right is the one that I got with the replacement battery and um, it charges up pretty quick, but it takes you know maybe a couple of hours to fully charge one. And the one on the left, uh, I've only just got that. Um, that charges supposedly a five amp hour battery, I think in an hour, and uh, one of these four amp, uh, amp hour ones in about 50 minutes. So with that, because uh, before I had that one, and and that which that, that took bloody ages maybe overnight almost um and so it was a bit of a pain you, uh, just occasionally would run out of batteries completely but with those two and three batteries that means the one on the left will charge in under an hour the one on the right will do maybe that and a half maybe twice that and i've got one charge running at any one time so I think three is probably the minimum if you're going to do quite a lot of stuff. I'd like to have four, but the batteries are pretty expensive, so um, three is enough to get on with things uh, in, in a normal sort of way. I just saw, guess what? Not Ryobi. Uh, there was a pretty good deal going on it when I bought it. Uh, I had lots of good reviews, and yet yeah, it's been absolutely fine. Um, cuts through everything I want it to. I put a slightly higher teeth um, blade on it than, than what came with it. Uh, but yeah, absolutely fine. Easy to carry around, not too heavy, but heavy enough that it's nice and planted when you stick it on the ground. Uh, the clamps on the side work pretty well. Um, it goes through a reasonable amount of thickness of stuff and it's locked down at the moment just for um, moving in and out. But you can see how much travel there is in it. It's pretty reasonable. Uh, last Ryobi really, Ryobi um, Hoover. Um, it was actually Mighty Car Mods that put me onto uh, this thing. Um, it will suck up dirt and wet stuff. Um, there's a bag in it which some people don't bother using um, and just clean the filter. The whole top section there lifts off and there's just a bag in a hose inside um, or you can just tip out the tin and be prepared to clean the filter. Uh, I've got a compressor, so 
Uh, I had the bag split on me recently, uh, which didn't seem to make any difference to its function, and I just uh, air blasted the cleaner um, to get it to um, clean out and be, be usable again. That's my uh, Ryobi stuff.